credit Patrick Taylor with three game-altering plays against Miami. Third and nine, early third quarter, and job one for Patrick is to help Royce Newman by slowing down the rusher with what's called a chip block. This is not a chip block, it is a knockout punch. Melvin Ingram's going to get fancy with the spin move, and Patrick is waiting there, puts the bone on him, knocks him to the dirt, and he does such a good job with the chip block, the Dolphins lose track of him. He's wide open, gains 17 yards for the first down, and a touchdown drive continues. Very next play, Patrick has blitz pickup, and he makes things tough on himself by not anticipating the blitz, but when he gets there, he rattles that cage pretty good. Still, the blitzer is able to flush Aaron Rodgers out of the pocket, but Patrick is not through. He follows with the second effort. He gets his man, and he keeps his quarterback clean, and now Aaron Rodgers can make one of those throws only Aaron Rodgers can make. The Packers were in the end zone two plays later. Patrick also plays special teams, and one of the toughest jobs on the teams is sustaining a block in the open field because your opponent has so much room to work. Watch Patrick. He stalks, and then he sticks, and he stays, and then he sticks and stays some more, and Keyshawn Nixon is going 93 yards. Patrick Taylor, three different stints on the practice squad. Signed to the active roster three different times, and he's been released twice. And yet when his number is called, he is ready. I'm blessed enough to, to play this game at a high level. Uh, I know it's not always pretty. Um, some guys' journey is harder than others. Uh, but I'm going to continue to trust mine and keep going.